Get set for our next matchup. There's Randy Fuentes, the 18 fight veteran, who has a matchup tonight against the Russian Olympian. That man there is none other than Peter Kamikov. 3 0 and looking to go 4 0 here tonight. Now let's take a look at our tail of the tape as we break down the numbers for our next matchup. Ray and Dominic, what stands out? Again, age, uh, Fuentes is a couple years older. But is is you know three inches smaller? Is you know reaches you know four inches small? Depends on the style. If he's an aggressive fighter coming forward, he closes that distance. But right now, but again, pro how many years? Eight years. The years of experience. But Kamakov has a great amateur background, so I think they'll negate that. Just right now at the age difference. Ladies and gentlemen, the action continues here in Bakersfield, California. As we now have six rounds, this in the middleweight division, all brought to you by TGP Promotions and sponsored by MGM Resorts and Brooklyn Boxing. Your three judges scoring this bout at ringside will be Abe Bellardo, Ralph McKnight, and Alejandro Rochin. Your referee in charge when the bell sounds is Rudy Baragan. Introducing first fighting out of the red corner, he comes in wearing the black with gold, weighing in officially at 160 and three quarter pounds. His record, nine wins, eight losses, one draw, two wins coming by way of a knockout. And joining us from McAllen, Texas, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Randy Hitman Fuentes. And across the ring, his opponent, out of the blue corner. He comes in wearing the red, white, and blue, weighing in officially at 160 pounds. His record a perfect one, three wins. Coming to us from St. Petersburg, Russia. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the 2016 Olympian, Peter Kamakov. I'm giving you guys both the instructions, okay? Do me a favor, I'll be in my command at all times. Protect yourselves at all times, okay? Good luck to you both. And it's set for our next matchup. There is a lot of excitement behind Peter Kamikov. Actually had Sergey Lipinets there on the apron. Ray Flores, the Hall of Fame, Marie Mancini, Dominic Brazil. Kamikov, 3-0, had over 400 amateur fights, fought at 175 in the Olympics for Russia. But now campaigning here at 160, there is quite a bit of excitement. His trainer, Shadid Saluki, says that he breaks you down systematically, and they believe that their knockouts for Kamikov are going to start to come rather soon. Mark Luck, he's a middleweight, one of the hottest divisions there is again. These guys, again, have an extensive amateur career that makes up a lot of it, you know, turning late, a pro so late. I like I like what the Eastern Bloc uh, fighters are bringing to their boxing teams. I think Kamikov's a, a very decorated amateur, uh, competing in the, uh, the Olympics in 2016. Um, at the same time, 400 amateur fights. I mean, I'm looking to see a, a lot of professional experience moves here. Even though he's only got three fights under his belt, um, he's got a lot of experience, ring experience. Kamikov originally from St. Petersburg, Russia, now living in Woodland Hills, California. Training under Shadid Saluki, and Saluki had quite a bit of high praise. He said that he can box, but he can also fight. But the only thing that they're working on, or they're working on a few things, but the main item is putting punches together so that he can go ahead and get that knockout. Well, right now he's been throwing Stop, punch no more punches, time. stop. He's also break, fighting break the southpaw, which is awkward. You gotta get a feel for the southpaw. Now he's boxing the southpaw. And I've said repeatedly, the way you beat a southpaw, you gotta come at him. You gotta come forward. You can't let him compete aggressive all the time. For Randy Fuentes, as you mentioned, uh, Ray, he's a southpaw coming off a win over Miguel Morales back in July. And he's looking to pressure Kamikov, but Kamikov backs him off with a nice right hand. Ray, I gotta disagree with you on that. I think Kamikov has got his, his game schedule here where he's planning on walking uh, uh, Randy into a right hand. He's doing a great job of leading right now with it. Um, I know he's on his back foot, but he's, he's circling to his right hand. He's going to his right, he's gonna stop, shoot the right hand, you're right. Yeah. But like, you know, <laughs> Dom, it's, it's, it's a, when you fight so just a rule of thumb, 
South Bay, you can't let them come at you all night for whatever reason, man. It's just, it's got to come, you got to back them up at some point. Uh, I, I agree. You definitely got to back South Paul up. You got to stay to his left. Uh, Kamikaze oh, that's is good right doing now. the complete opposite, going to his right. Yeah. Nice left hook. He's varying where he's Stepped placing his punches as Kamikaze. He stepped over through a single yeah. hand, got to come back to the left hook. Okay, no more punches. Now he's starting Stop. to find the distance a little bit. Again, he's an experienced fighter. Under a minute left here in our opening round with Peter Kamikov and Randy Fuentes. This fight is at 160, but there is a belief amongst the team of Kamikov and a nice shot, a straight left by Fuentes. Fuentes giving Kamikov not the easiest go around here. No. Kamikov, again, you can see he's been in the gym with the even though he's only three fights, he's experienced. He has a lot of experience in the gym with a lot of fighters that uh, have more experience than him, but he's, he, he, no, he's a sharp guy. Final moments of our Ten first seconds, round guys. with Peter Kamikoff and Double Randy Fuentes. Seconds. That's the end of the first. Kamikoff and Fuentes resume right after this. There is a samurai, Sergey Lipinets. We saw him on the pay-per-view portion of Pacquiao Thurman back in July. He was victorious over a late replacement. Sergey Lipinets, former champion at 140 and making moves at 147. He's there alongside Andre Fedozov as well. And there is Peter Kamikov. They are in the same managerial group as Lipinets with Kamikov. So far, Ray and Dominic, what were your observations from Kamikov two, in the first round? Well, when I saw Kamikov use that ex amateur experience, he's very, very relaxed and controlled in there. That, that again, must have been in the ring for so, so many times. And uh, he throws good punches, finding his distance. This one of fights, he's got a rough, tough guy in front of him, but he's doing whatever they need to do to get him out of there. Good left hook for Kamikov, but Fuentes continues to press the issue. Kamikov's doing a great job with his jab. You rarely see an orthodox hit a southpaw with a jab, but Kamikov has, has somehow established the fact that he's, he's going to hit him with the jab. Well, there's a belief with Kamikov. We tried to get to it earlier in the first go, round, but go. that he makes 160 easy. They, he could go and probably make 54. There's even a thought process that maybe he could make 147 as well. Well, if he's fighting at 160, going to 47, that would be a bit, a bit I'm much. The free guys. Just, I'm you, the if free. you can make 54, let him fight 54. Because there's plenty of guys between 54 and 60. Big money fights for him. I agree with you, Ray. I think 154 uh, would be very suitable for Comic Con. Um, at the 160 level, you've got to have you've got to have power in both hands. Um, these these are big guys in there. And also, Monts goes with Comic Con. They want to move him quickly, but we'll see how he handles the veteran and Randy Fuentes because you don't want to move someone too quick too soon. No, but when they say quick, he's 28 years old, only three fights. Again, going back to the extensive amateur career. Look, you only have so many, your body only has so many fights in it, amateur or pro. You have an extensive amateur career, you get used up there, you better turn on the juice when you turn pro. Pick up the pace because you ain't got a whole lot of time left in that. How many fights in your body? Peter Kamikov. Making his shots. He's very judicious in regards. So there's a big left. And down goes Fuentes. It was just an awkward Four, shot on top of the head. Five, but, you six, know, it must have been seven, eight. Almost like he was a check hook. We talked about the placement of Peter Kamikov, how economical he is when it comes to his punches. Now he's really picking up the pace as we have 40 seconds left. Fuentes may go down again. He does so. You good? Mark over here, come on. You good? All right. Y'all show me something, okay? Like show me something. Let's go. Box. Well, oh, Randy Fuentes, much like the Bee Gees, is trying to stay alive. And Kamikov pressing the issue, trying to get the finish. Throwing haymakers as Kamikov, but Fuentes still there. Get off his head. Get off his head. Get off his head. Stop the bell. That's the end of the second. Peter Kamikov with two knockdowns in the second round. There's the left. 
that drop Fuentes, and again the second knockdown, Peter Kalbikov in control. Welcome back to PBC Fight Night Prelims here on FS2. We heard in between rounds, Shadich Zaluki telling Kamikov, don't let him rest. Keep putting your punches Number together. Number three. I think I'd like to see uh, a little bit more of uh, punches and punches out of Kamikov. He's got the experience to do it. He knows his opponent's hurt. And uh, instead of just throwing ones, the ones and twos, maybe three, fours, and fives at a time. See, Dom, here's, here's the experience versus experience as a uh, professional as opposed to an amateur. He's, he's controlled. That's good. I mean, you want to be, you don't want to get ragged. But I would find a little more interesting to come out. I dropped the guy twice, barely finished. I'd come out there, jump right on him, try to end this early. Again, we talked about earlier. You don't get paid any more to go longer. Go. Stop, no punch. Stop, let's break. Uh, I, I agree with you, Ray. Uh, you know, with his experience in the amateurs, it's about scoring points and getting to uh, impressing the judges. In the professional ranks, uh, you got a guy hurt. you got to go see if he's still got his legs under him. Entering the third round, Peter Kamikov and Randy Fuentes. You know, the athleticism of Kamikov, I think, is underrated because he bends very well, quality, very good footwork. Yes. He's fast and uses slight feints and adjustments that make for a very difficult target to connect upon. Ray, you just pressed upon a good point. As I say, inches and angles. Boxing is a game of inches and angles. Kamikov is good with that. He's feinting, feinting, slides inside with this quick right hand or a quick jab or a hook. He's got to use inches and angles. Let him go, let his arm go, let his arm go. Kamikov and Fuentes fighting on the inside. Randy, referee in charge, Rudy Fadigan, letting them fight on the inside. Good jab there. I, I think Kamikov is, is, is setting up a straight right uh, left foot combo. He's, he's shooting the jabs, giving Randy something to look at, but I think the, the right hand's going to sneak in behind him. Stop, 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 stop. Coming up stop. on 80 you're seconds okay, to go okay. in the third. Now we're seeing that, what I said earlier. you got to back up the south box, which he's starting to do now. Coming forward, moving to his left, moving him back. He's back and forth, actually, but he's actually backing up one day down, which you have to do. Ooh. Nice right hand that connected right on the abdomen of Randy Fuentes. When Randy got dropped before, he, he, he looked, you know, he was looking uh, like uh, he was feeling yesterday's lunch. Right hand like that, that ain't gonna, that ain't gonna help. It was a left that was blocked by Kamikov. Wrestling on the inside, the referee oh. separates them. I think Kamikov needs to make, a, make an adjustment and, and pay some dividends to the body at this point. Um, you're in the middle, you know, towards the end of the third round, and you've been hitting this guy with left hooks and right hands, no and jabs as well. Break. Maybe it's time Break to uh, uh, give a couple body shots. Turn around, turn around. Let's, let's find out what Randy had for lunch yesterday. <laughs> I'll tell you what I had for lunch in the food here at Bakersfield, a quality chicken sandwich. But I don't want to get hit to the body as Kamikov is looking to, we'll see if he focuses and targets the body of Fuentes. Stop! Stop! Let his head go, let his head go. There we go. By the moments of the third, with Kamikov, the Russian Olympian, and Randy Fuentes will come back with round four. Great, that's a great day of sports on Fox. I have to agree. That's a big fight event that's coming up. I can't wait to see Spence Ford. Uh, but anytime football's on TV, I'm, I'm tuning in as well. Look, you get it. Oh, there's a knockdown that connects for Kamikov here in the fourth. Fuentes Five, down the third time. Six, seven, it seems his punches eight. have bad intentions now. Here. He's throwing harder, more deliberate right punches now. Let's go. Fight. Kamikov looking for his first professional knockout. He's undefeated 3-0. Stop, stop, let him go, let him go. An Olympian go. that represented Russia in 2016 at 175 pounds. Now fighting at 160, mixing it up. Fuentes oh. is bringing the fight to Kamikov, much to the delight of the fans here in Bakersfield. Best experience of Randy Fuentes. Jump on the guy, turns his back, hey, jump on him. Try to make it a dog fight. That's what the only chance you got. Make it a dog fight. Kamikov knows that he's in with a difficult opponent. It's going to take more than one or two punches to finish off Fuentes. Fuentes has been on the canvas three times so far. All right, no punches. No punches. What Fuentes doesn't want to do is back straight up. When the guy is trying to back you up, you keep turning, turning. 
working, working angles. I, I got to agree with you. But I think uh, Fuente, either Fuentes or, or Comic-Con, one of the two has got to work angles. Right now they're standing in front of each other. Um, when they get tied up, they're just kind of wrestling. There's, there's, no, there's no movement, no action going on. Turn around. Now turn him. Turn him. You see the disparity in power punches landed 52 oh, compared to 30. Oh, Fuentes and Fuentes landing his oh, hands. His glove did not touch the canvas. He can't buckle because he got hurt. He buckled because he had to hurt or a punch. And then uh, he didn't get to fall. Uh, Kamikov didn't follow up. Now he looked up the referee. Kamikov looking for the finish. 66 seconds to go in the fourth. Fuentes getting hammered by Kamikov. A left hook. Followed by a straight right. <laughs> Fuentes hit him low. And Fuentes down. goes down a fourth time in the fight. Three, four, five. Are you sure you want to continue? You sure? Don't you look like it, my brother. And oh, this oh. one is over. Come on now. Peter Kamikov gets his first professional knockout. He is now 4-0 as the Russian Olympian handles business against Randy Fuentes. I, I, you know what? I mean, look. It was inevitable probably that Kamikov was going to win this fight. But you asked the guy, and he said, yeah, you asked the guy. Come on, man. Give him the chance to go. You can't decide if you're asking him, then make the decision. Well, I think the body language, Rudy Baragan was looking at the body language right. from right. Randy Fuentes, and Fuentes seemed to be indecisive when Baragan was asking him the question. Then you stop it. Then you stop it immediately. You don't ask him. I don't know too many guys said, no, I don't want to continue. I, I think there's been a ton of times in boxing where the referee has asked the fighter, hey, do you want to continue? The fighter, of course, is thinking his next move. He wants to know, am I going to step right? Am I going to work an angle? Maybe he's looking for a stretch from his coach. Sometimes you're a little distracted. Um, I think in this case, Randy made the right move, though, by stopping the fight. It was inevitable. The decision, yeah. the, the outcome was inevitable. But the guy was still fighting, and you ask him twice, and he said, yeah, and then you say, okay, I don't think so, brother. I can, don't ask him. <laughs> Well, Peter Kamakov remains undefeated 4-0 with this first professional knockout as he is victorious here in Bakersfield. Four knockdowns that led to the stoppage in the fourth round. Here we see Kamakov with a ton of power down went Fuentes for the first time. The second knockdown, here we see Kamakov again, guys. And my goodness, Peter Kamakov Putting punches together, Randy Fuentes, the veteran, could not withstand the barrage, and that was it. As Kamikov remains perfect as a young professional, he's now 4 0. Welcome back to PBC Fight Night Prelims here on FS2. Ray Flores, Ray Mancini, Dominic Brazil, as we saw Peter Kamikov handle business against Randy Fuentes. Gentlemen, here's how it all transpired. Peter Kamikov had a great night. He, he set a lot of things up with that hook. The hook worked great for him tonight. Uh, he utilized the bulk of the head and the body. Oh, good. Top of the head. The punch is hit on top. You know, if what is top of the head. Those are the worst type of punch. You know that. Yeah, um, I, I think he did so, a great they job. Maybe that's a Setting up the next shot. With that straight right hand and the left hook, I, I stayed in the third round. He was setting it up and utilized it well there. Um, he just he just did a great job using his hook tonight. He was just beating him down. You know, it was inevitable. You know, the outcome. Uh, just, you show a lot of composure in there. I like what I see. And here are the numbers with Peter Kamikov and Randy Fuentes. Landed, thrown, yeah. I mean, he was decisive in all the all the right categories. Uh, I think uh, I got to agree with you, Ray. It was a landslide. He's thrown a lot of punches, landed a, a ton of big, several heavy boom, booming shots. Um, <laughs> it, it, he's doing a great job. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes two minutes, 21 seconds of the fourth round for your winner by technical knockout and still undefeated, Peter Kamikov. So Peter Kamikov finally gets the monkey off his back and gets that first knockout.